please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the future notification to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thank you so much for your love and support. Hello friends, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I will show you how to make the fabric paints and liquid embroidery cone at home. This was the requested video of my viewers. The basic ingredients are the binder and the cuddy paste. These all materials are available in tie and dye material shops which is related to the fabric paints or dyes. Please do visit my new channel Amazing Arts Beauty and Craft. Appreciated your support. Please do subscribe. The link of this channel is in front of you. The details is available in the description box. Kindly check out. We would also require the pigment colors. There are so many colors available but I use the primary colors and most required colors such as yellow, green, blue, red, purple and black. Using these colors I will make the primary and secondary colors. Firstly let me show you how to mix these colors and prepare the fabric paints. I have only this 8 pigment colors. Using this primary pigment colors, I will make the secondary colors too. That also I will show you. But let me show you first how, how to make the fabric paints using this basic colors. Pour the cuddy paste in small containers. I will also add each color of 1 spoon in each container. All the pigments are in liquid state. You can see here, I am adding 1 spoon nearly of each pigment color. Please be careful otherwise messy things may happen and these colors will not go easily. As I said in my previous video I have been working with these colors for about almost 10 to 12 years which I will do fabric painting, craft works, wall decor projects such as making of beautiful nature sceneries. Now I will add binder of one spoon. This binder is like the fixer of the color. Stir it well without any lumps and the color is completely mixed with the curry paste. That's it we are ready with the fabric paints now. Now I will mix the remaining colors. If you think the color is light, add the pigment color more till you get the required color. I will go with the light colors because sometimes I work on the dark color fabrics. So at that moment we will work with the light colors. If you want a more dark like this we have to add and stir it well. Do not use the painting brush to mix the colors because the bristles may spoil. The brushes are used for only painting. I am using the coconut broomstick. To mix the colors, you can also use a cycle spoke or anything else like spoon. And now I am ready with the fabric paints. This is how it looks. Now I will show you the mixing colors or the secondary colors. Here we will join, here we will add two colors to make the secondary colors any of the two colors like now I am showing yellow mixing with the red to get the color of orange now if you see this chart the first one I have shown the second one when I mixed yellow with the blue will get the green color now I will show you how to prepare the liquid embroidery cone or the preparation of the outliners. Here I will use this. These all are the fabricrel glue bottles. I washed it. As you all know I, I won't let go anything waste. And this is the machine oil container. And this type of oil cans also available. You can use all these to prepare the liquid cones or the outliners. Now I will use all these containers to prepare the outliners and the liquid embroidery cone. Just slowly fill the color in the bottles. Secure with the cap or else the paint will dry. 
Now I will show you another secondary color which I will mix blue with yellow to get the color of green. Now stir it well. If you want more darker of this green, so we have to add blue more to get the thick dark color. Now I am filling this in the oil can and this is called as liquid embroidery cone. Like this I made all the required colors which is black, white, orange, dark colors. These are used for the outliners or the highlighting patterns. And that's it friends. This is how I'll prepare all the fabric paints at home. This is really affordable if you work for the big projects because I work a lot for the crafts, fabric paints, bed sheets and pillow cars working, all home decor projects. That's why I use fabric colors a lot. But if you are working for the small projects, you can buy it from the outlets nearby your stores. So this is the complete materials which I work for the fabric paints. As I said you can try this liquid embroidery colors. Instead if you don't want to prepare at home or working for the small projects. These are easily available in the market. Check out. And the gold powder asking by my viewers where it's available. I suggest you to use this pearl colors which is easily available at any stores. And instead of binder. Please use the varnish for the metallic colors such as gold, silver, copper, bronze for the long lasting color without fading. If you use the binder with the gold or silver paints, it will fade out easily after a couple of washes. In my upcoming videos, I will show you how to work with these paints. Hope this video is useful to you all. If you like it, please hit the like icon to support my efforts. Thank you so much for watching. You all with another interesting video. Bye for now.